All right, hello and welcome YouTube. This is for the players. Um, my name is Lee. Um, this is my very, very, very first uh, Magic the Gathering uh, video, uh, as well as very first Magic the Gathering box opening. Um, this is uh, Merry Christmas to me. Can't talk here for me. Um, so this is my Merry Christmas present to myself. I'm very, very excited. Let's get stuck in. Um, I've learned from my previous videos. I am pretty much just going to do... Um, a rare, like just the sauce, just the the juicy, juicy, juicy stuff when I can get all the shrink wrapping off. Um, so I'm going to be skipping over a lot of the commons. Um, I'm going to only focus on an uncommon if I find in particular that it's worth talking about. And I'm just going to talk stuff to you guys the whole time. What standard decks I'm playing right now. Um, if I find a card interesting. Um... Handy flip out thing here. Ah, there you go, get in there. So I've got a um, smasher. Um, so yeah, let's start. So I've been playing a lot of Magic recently. Um, playing mainly Sultai at the moment. Arc Lightning, oh, very good sideboard card. Teamer. Charm, Ice Feather Averin. Saltai Ascendancy is our first rare. And Morph is back as a mechanic. I've always been excited about Morph. It's been a really good mechanic so far. This is like video is super late, by the way. Everyone else has already done box openings and stuff. I don't really care. This is my Christmas present. I can do what I want. Um, yeah, Morph was in such a good mechanic in... Um, draft as well Not, um and even some morph has made it to standard as well uh winter flame sandstep citadel mighty rough rider mantis rider he used to be going all right he used to he used to be worth some value he's dropped a little i find uh, he's not really worth too much anymore um, so let's skip right through Treasure Cruise. Now that that's a common to be taken care of, though, especially a foil one. They're worth like twenty bucks Australian right about now, which is huge. Misfire Weaver, Armored Corpse, Take Up Arms. Nowhere near as good as Holding Out Best. And How of the Horde. Ooh, that in EDH would be brilliant. Love to do something with that card. What would be the best card to cast with it? What do you What do you guys reckon would be the best card? I mean, like, I mean, you could Lightning Bolt uh, or Lightning Strike that for like nine damage but you know like and that's a nice finisher but um i have no idea lightning spray swamp blood flies great limited bomb great limited bomb uh murderous cut seeing standard and a flooded strand <laughs> there is our fetch oh that's what we want and a f is that a foil naturalize can't quite. Well, well, the flooded strand is going aside for the moment. Can't actually see. Oh, that's definitely a foil naturalized. The foil itself is not that bright. I can't even really get it to show, but it's. Regardless, it's a foil naturalized. That's probably wanted in some decks. Um, but yeah, what are we looking to crack here? Let's talk about that too. Um, fetches, obviously. Fetches are always very important. We'd like a set of each. Uh, the five. Um, I'm particularly looking for uh, Polluted Delta, probably worth the money. Worth the money! Working hard for the money! Uh, Retribution of the Ancients. Now that is almost a playset for me, actually. I really want to do something with this card, I just don't think it's... In standard, this is going to be horribly underpowered. And we have another foil, it's a Monastery Swift Sphere. Oh wow, that is really cool. That is a really... I, I'm so bummed that this camera's not really taking it up so much. But that's a, that is that is nuts. Monastery Swiss here. You'll be worth some money. You are a foil. You are cray-cray. Um, tearing up modern right now and Delver decks and stuff. Um, so yeah, that's a, that's a super wicked pull. Better than... More money than Retribution of the Ancients in that deck. Um, why, why you change bears? Why you change bears? No, I don't like that. Um, Highland game, really good and limited. Goblin slide. Has anyone built a goblin slide deck in limited yet? 
Ankle Shanker is our rare. And a Foil Rattle Core Mystic. Oh my god, that is three foil pulls in one row. Are you serious? <laughs> wow. That foil looks brilliant. There you go. Now I'm starting to see it a little bit, but like I'll have to do a proper video for all that sometime other soon. Um, you are worth some moolah. Wow. Oh, this is a great pull set. This pack is this box is amazing. I always have good luck buying from these guys. Um, this is from Good Games in Box Hill, by the way. So um, these guys have some great boxes and everything available. Charm, Jessica Charm, very useful, very useful. Deflecting Palm. Uh, some people have been building decks around that. I don't. I think it's an amazing um, blowout. I think it's an amazing blowout. But um, I don't think it's found a home quite yet. There are definitely some decks running it though. So Abzan Battle Priest. Or a challenge. God, I love the Teamer Clan. I love the imagery. I love everything about it. High Sentinels of Arashian. Not quite, but still, you know. Still good for limited and all that sort of stuff. So I'm just going to move this all over a little bit. Get a little more central. We're blitzing through these, by the way. As I said, we're just doing the rares only. We're really only focused on those. No one likes a common, no one likes a commoner. Uh, Dragon Grip, Cranial Archive, that is, oh, yeah. Um, goblin, in, in like Goblin Slide decks and stuff in Limited, that would be great. Uh, murderous Cut, an Utter End, yeah. Oh, and a Foil Island too. Oh, sorry, Foil, foil Land, Foil Forest. God, I'm getting ahead of myself. Foil Island's actually worth much. I can imagine the foil forests would be too relatively enough too, but other end is is definitely very useful. That's getting used in a lot of different things recently, so very good pull. Very happy with that one. Okay, let's do this. Let's see what we got. Um, so still looking for planeswalker. Still looking for Sauron or Sarkin. That would be nice. Treasure cruise once again. Da, da, da. Take me on a treasure cruise. See the unwritten. Yep. Useful, very useful, um, even without the ferocious ability. And a foil flying crane technique. How many foils have I pulled? Oh my god, this pack is nuts. Are you serious? Uh, go to Good Games Box Hill, you'll get a foil in almost every pack. This guy, this guy, these guys are nuts. Nuts. Um, still waiting to pull another uh, fetch land though, because that's Valley of Town. Uh, that away. Pass by Mantis. Team of Charger. And Clever Impersonator. Yeah, very useful. EDH players will love you. Not just EDH players. I think it's been seeing some legacy play. I mean, I don't play legacy much, so I have no idea. Um, actually, I don't actually play legacy at all. I just look at deck lists and go, Oh, I wish I was smart enough to play a legacy. What do you all of you legacy players think you know is it actually easy to play is it challenging and you know do you like just comboing off is that just the whole point of legacy i don't know and a rare another rattlecore mystic running low on the foils though there's two rattlecores that's definitely seeing some it used to see more standard play um team of decks i said like team of aggro decks with like savage nuts and stuff will be playing rattlecore but um that was, that was so hyped about, and I don't think it's seen as much play as it used to. I'm still going to keep my play set. Okay, hmm, right then. Bivouac. Bivouac. I just like saying Bivouac. And a Butcher of the Horde. Now you are money town. Butcher of the Horde has been played a lot recently. A lot it is. Um, wow. Yeah, it's, it's, I, I hate playing against it. I hate people who put Butcher of the Horde in their deck. Um, it is such a bonkers card. It is busted. Um, and it's probably because I don't put anything in my decks that deal with it, you know, um, since I'm playing like Villainous Wealth Sultai deck. So, you know, um, great for limited. I want a limited thing with that. Uh, well, third. 
I top forward. Come on, give me give me some breaks. Uh, Absent ascendancy and a f another foil, Madu Hate Blade. Getting some serious love on the foils. Madu ascendancy. Eh. Eh. Take it or leave it. I'm pretty sure there are some Johnnies that want to build a deck out of it. Um, that with like that uh, hardened scales that. Green one mana drop. Still looking for our other fetches. Still looking for our plane swalker. We don't know who it is. I mean, I'm just assuming I'm getting one. That's the way. Absent charm. Despise. And trail of mystery. Um, I guess you could draft it in limited with um, like secret plans. Go for like a trail of mystery, secret plans, morph deck. Um, once again, I'm pretty sure some Johnnies would love to build it. I mean, look, I love the card personally. I just don't think it's standard competitive. I'd love to make like a, just a horrible, horrible standard deck and take it to an FNM, Trailer Mystery, Four Secret Plans. Uh, Country Invocation. Oh, this, I, I went, I love this card. I went nuts over it. I love the artwork. I love everything about it. I've become immense. So the ages and Master of Pearls. Yeah. The rare pools aren't so great anymore. Let's, where's our luck gone? Where has our luck gone? Where did all that luck go? I don't know. I know I can't sing, but you're all just going to have to get over it. Chief of the Edge, Death Frenzy, Hair of the Wilds. Now you are seeing a lot of standard play. Like Death Touch is so relevant nowadays. Um, let's hide this rare for a minute and talk about this. You, um, have saved my butt so many times. Um, pity you just don't have flying. Uh, Blood Soaked Champion. Nice, decent. You're still getting some, um, some play. And, um, like Sultai Aggro decks and, um, some Mono Black Aggro and stuff like that. I think, is Mono Black Aggro still a thing? I think it is, but I just don't think they include like anyone. Like I don't think it's anywhere near as powerful as it was, was before Ravnica sort of faded out. Uh, Mighty Blazebringer, Merrick Nightblade, Secret Plans. Ah, so you know, like we could totally do this. Secret Plans, Trailer Mystery. Yeah, I'm totally building a deck over this. And End Hostilities. Yeah, yeah, you're definitely seeing play. Um, five mana for a uh, removal, mass removal spell. Not, not great, not fantastic, but um. It needs to see play. It's fantastic at what it does. Um, especially with all the permanents attached to all creatures. So it just removes any and all um, of those pesky, pesky uh, bestow creatures. Arc Lightning once again. Opulent Pants. Mana fixing! You have to fix my mana. Meandering Tower Shell. That 5 9. Wow, they needed to just fill that slot, didn't they? Um, yeah, Mandarin Town Shell. I'm still trying to figure out how to use this. Um, uh, maybe going back to uh, Kintry Invocation, you know, putting a whole bunch of defenders and making it a deck called the Defendering. Um, and just have Meandering Town Shell, a whole bunch of defenders. Um, what's that? Uh, Kintry Warden, stuff like that. And just Kintry Invocation for the win. Quiet Contemplation. Who's trying to build a limited deck out of this? That would be nuts, I reckon. It'd be good. Just tap down everyone's shit. Uh, Avalanche Tusker is our rare. Oh, man. We're, we're losing some gas. We had some good gas. Now we're losing it. Um, I mean, hell, we've pulled a Flooded Strand. That's enough for me. You know, and a Foil Radical. Uh, foil Monastery, Swap, Monastery Swift Spear. Um, and then Hostilities, I mean, that's that's pretty decent so far. I mean, some see the Unwritten will also see some see some play. Um, so we're definitely getting some value, but um, I'm still waiting for the Planeswalker. Seek the Horizon. Yeah, Dragon Throne of Tarkia is our rare. Yeah, that's also a thing. That could go in that Defender deck. That could totally do that. So let's build a deck list right now. Let's, let's do four Dragon Throne of Tarkia. Uh, four uh, Trailer Mystery. No, what am I doing? Four Kintry Invocation. Um, four Kintry Warden. Um, four Meandering Tower Shell. How is that? Uh, 16. 
And Dig Through Time is our rare. And we get another foil getting back on this value foil train. It's We Fate. I don't think it's seeing anything. I think like the extra one mana to draw two cards has really put people off. Dig Through Time, though, you are seeing a lot of play. You are worth some moolah. Um, seeing Legacy, seeing Extended, seeing Vintage, seeing um, Standard Play. Um, seeing modern play, it is uh, to go seven deep and pick the best two, um, and then you know play a whole bunch of burn spells and then dig through time again. Like you can just dig so deep. Um, uh, dig. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, you can just dig so deep into your deck and just go nuts. Uh, so just go jump, seeker of the way, causing havoc and seeking all over the place. What you doing, bruh? And Savage Knuckleblade, talking about it earlier in a team of deck with uh, Rattle, Mr. Rattlecore there. You will be, um, you're quite good at the moment, I think. You have a little bit more potential to go. Oh, still waiting for our Planeswalker. When are they going to show? When are they going to show? Um, as I said, we've got some really good value out of this so far, so I'm really happy. Still type player, what a well. And Herald of Anafenza. Yeah. Yeah, totally a thing. Um, I don't think it's getting a huge. No, it's like it's not good. Let's be honest. Not, not for standard anyway. Um, 1 1 counters, being able to put white warrior creatures into the battlefield. I'm pretty sure some people have built like warrior decks out there. Um, in standard though, like with that much removal going around, it'll just get. Throttled off the throttled off the battlefield, first of all. Oh my god, that was just awkward. Um to the Roost team of Judge and Trap Essence. No, yeah. Right. What would you do? Counter target spell the two plus one planets one counts on a creature. I didn't think that was Tima's thing. I didn't think that was Tima's thing. I thought that was um what do you call it? Abzan. But um It'd be a useful counter. It's a hard counter, you know. It's a hard counter, and that's what we care. Treasure Cruise fade off the bat. So this hopefully is a good one. Uh, and disowned ancestor in our defendering deck would be great. Um, I'm loving the story at the moment as well. It's stubborn denial. Counter spell is always relevant. Um, mana fixing always relevant. Rush the roost. We got a gold card. What is it? Rakshasa Death Dealer. Hey, was seeing some standard play, was seeing um, playing Abzan aggro decks. Um, I think he's died off a little now. I think the mana investment is way too heavy um, for him to regenerate and then add plus two, plus two all the time. Um, like Putrid Leech was, was much better at it um, in the same colors and same, same sort of style. He's seeing much more modern play. Um, another Monastery Swiss here, Dead Drop. And Anna Fens of the Foremost. That is a mythic. Um, she is definitely seeing play right now. <gasps> and have we got a foil seeker of the way? Yeah, I think we do. I think that is value right there. Those two in one pack. Fantastic. Anna Fenza and a foil seeker. Uh, the foil seeker will definitely garner some support. Anna Fenza is, um, I'd love to build a general out of her actually. Um, just an Abzan good stuff EDH general. Um, uh, whenever I don't know if the foremost attacks, put a plus one plus one on another tapped creature you can try. Well, if a creature would be put into an opponent's graveyard from anywhere, exile it instead. Ah. Wow, hey, graveyard hate to the max, man. Graveyard hate to the max, stubborn denial, become immense. Bivouac, bivouac, and flying crane technique. I think that's our second one for the um, second one for the pack. For the box, sorry. Sugar, come on, brain, function. Um, wow. Only one fetch. Are you serious? Oh, we haven't got money to go. We better start pulling some fetches and better start seeing our um, planeswalker very soon. Uh, snaps this little tomb of the spirit dragon. Bloodstained mire. Speak of the devil and they shall appear. That is our second fetch of the pack. You are worth some value. Oh, yeah. Stage two. Myron and Almyronness. 
Oh, God. Um, I am so delirious. I'm working like 13 hour days at the moment, so I'm doing this in between like when I can. <laughs> uh, and our rare altar of the brood. Yeah. Mildex, beware. Mildex would, would really thoroughly enjoy that. Um, down to our last six. Let's keep going. Let's smash this out. Um, I think I'm already running over time here. Um, cheap of scale, up your palace, suspension field, very good removal right now. Carry Lich Lord. Yeah, totally. Um, like a whip, basically. He acts like a whip, but like dice more to removal. Um, I don't think it's as good as the whip as well, because the whip gives you, um, Life Link, which means, you know, like, some of the decks you can see gain, like, 50 life and shit like that. It's nuts. Um. Nice feather over. And Sadisi. <laughs> oh, yes. 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 You are, um, you are Sadisi. You are the zombie queen. Um, and you have my affection. Um. She... Good pull, good pull being seen. Uh, Sidisi whip decks at the moment. Um, it's a deck I actually want to build. My Sultai deck actually is more like a villainous well deck. And then I've got like a Sultai aggro deck um, that uses Sidisi. So, um, yeah, that just puts tons of tons of zombies into play. Mighty Charm, very useful. Dust Guard Captain and a red Necropolis Fiend. I'd love to see a Delph deck built around him. He's a removal on a stick, so he should be pretty decent. Last three packs. All right, let's make him good. Make him count. We want some fetches. We want a Planeswalker. Preferably a Sauron. Kintry, Gamag, right down. Jeering Instigator. With Sadisi's crown. Oh, that totally is Sadisi's crown too. Yep. Yep, stolen Sadisi's crown. You cray cray goblins. You and your shenanigans. I hate, oh, I, 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 I love playing goblins, but um, I'm more of an elf person. I've always been an elf person. Always, always been an elf person. You can hate me as much as you want. One name aspirant. Yeah, seeing companion. Bear's companion. Wow, that's probably one of the few that I've actually pulled. And Sagamola is our rare with Disowned Ancestor as a foil. Oh yeah, we're definitely building this um, Defendering deck now. Showing off for the foil Disowned Ancestor turn one. Boom! Oh yeah. Whew. Last one. Rubber for luck. Ah, stuff going everywhere. Okay, last one, last one. Let's do this. A little slower. Let's savor it. Let's savor it. Plane Walker, Dragon Eye Savant, Warden of the Eye, and our rare Ghostfire Blade. So no Planeswalker, no Planeswalker. That's cool. We totally um, pulled a whole bunch of other stuff though that's really useful. Um, so DC definitely seeing play at the moment. Bloodstained Mire and the Flooded Strand, very useful. Unoffensive seeing play. Dig Through Time seeing play. Ant Hostilities is seeing play. A Foil Rattle Claw will be very useful. Monast foil Monastery Swift Spear will definitely be worth um, some decent cash right about now. Um, yeah, Saga Maul is definitely seeing play. Um, Rock Shafts of Death Deal is still seeing fringe play. Savage Nox. Um, yeah, we're totally building, yeah, totally building a Meandering Tower Shell deck with, like, Kintry, a Warden, and Disowned Ancestor. Um, Butcher the Horde, you are definitely worth, um, some money. Clever Impersonator, See the Unwritten, Utter End, Utter End is seeing play, yeah. All of this is totally, um, worth it. Uh, especially for this Foil Seeker, if I could show you the Foil. I don't know if you can see that. Anyway. Um, thanks for watching guys. This was for the players. Um, like, subscribe, give me some comments. Let me know how we went. Um, 
if you want any deck techs or anything like that, let me know as well. I'm going to be start putting up a little bit more magic, the gathering stuff up online. So this was an MTG box opening. This was for the players. My name is Lee. I'm signing off.